Okay, so in a few days I'm going on a trip to the coast and I thought I'd just rig out the camera so it's a bit more, it's a bit easier to use when I'm on the field, you know. So I'll just show you some of the things I've kind of got, you know, like we've got desiccant, you know, on the road. Some various other things. So so the main the main thing from the previous like in real life video was the sound was coming from the actual camera which is horrible and i think i was using my phone for some of it but it's just not like if you're outside in the wind it's just not good so what i've done is i've gone wireless got the uh what's it called edor uh wireless mic and some like balls of fur for the wind which is great so i literally went on amazon went small rig I've got the cheapest cage I could find. It was like, I think it was like 30 pounds for this camera, which I've already got. And it's really good. It's like all metal. It's pretty sweet. Um, it just screws on with like the thing at the back there. Here. And this thing comes out so you can a magnet. So that's going to be, it doesn't actually add much weight as well, which is pretty cool. Take the lens off. Oops. Yeah, so this slides into the hot shoe, so that'd be easy to just boom, you know, and to keep it powered on, I've taped on my power bank to the side of the camera, so I'm going to like connect it sort of with this somehow. Uh, whatever. Connects just into there, sort of like that, which will be pretty cool and then I've got these wire clips that keep it in place and um, obviously if I was in, indoors I wouldn't need to do any of this but I'm, because I'm walking outside like near the coast like middle of nowhere I need something a little bit more customizable because I don't want to just be like fiddling in my pocket like taking this out recharging it having to take out stuff and then like you know power bank recharging that at least this way it just, it's constantly charging this for the, the entire day, I think it, it can record like seven hours. I've got two of these as backup. Crystal clear audio. Plus the wind mic, which I don't really know how it screws on yet. I've got a rain cover, finally. <laughs> the amount of times I've gone in the rain and like I know it's water, it's not waterproof, it's water resistant, but the amount of times I've done that, not like, cared about the rain. Like, it's going to be pouring when I'm going there. So we need this. Let's open it up. Let's see what we got. Oh, well it gave me two. All right. Cheers. I only ordered one. Essentially it's just a plastic bag with a drawstring on it. They give me four of them. What the hell? I didn't order four. Is that one? That must be the bottom. not going to fit. Uh, this is not good. Oh no, it came off. What do I do without the handle? Hold on. Take the handle off. There you go, you've got a, whatever the hell it is. And we've got a very nice thing that doesn't close properly, that's great. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it kind of works. This just came, what, this screw just came off. Yeah, so essentially it should just like, be like that, if it goes on properly. So basically what I'm going to do with this is, this is like 10, is it 10? Yeah. Just over 10,000 milliamps. So what I can do is continuously charge the receiver. Yeah, the receiver. Well, it's still good. Let's do the other screw. They give you these little Allen keys. Whatever. So the content is just going to be, there's going to be like 
the usual vlogging GoPro on my shoulder sort of thing. That's just as I'm walking. Because I've got this like strap for it. But then I'm going to try and film a sort of themed video. And then you just stick this in. Voila. And the good thing is, I can still do photography with it. You know, it's not like really getting in the way. I can still hold the camera. Do some shots. There's no card. And this still folds out, I think. Yeah, it's still, it's still able to do that. And then the strap still works. So I've got like a good portable solution. Whereas last year, I was just like, this is just, I just had the bare camera. The sound was coming from this. Like, this, you don't know, until you use it, you don't know how bad it is. It sounds like it's coming from a Sony Ericsson from like 10 years ago. Sound upgrade is going to be cool. I wish I did use it last year on the trip. I've still got that video to actually edit. It's like Scotland road trip, but yeah. So obviously these are, this is for the cable. So the cable would like slide in, I believe. You've got it clamped that way. And then yeah, the handle can go this way. I actually prefer it this way for some reason. So I can just hold it and go like, What else? I think that's it. The, this just plugs into the camera. It's not gonna actually fit. Watch, it's not gonna reach. That's gonna be a problem. That's not gonna reach. It might reach. So this goes in there. And then you open up this. Is that it? No. Voila. So you can do cable management even with a camera. There you go. Slides underneath. Pretty simple. The red actually matches the camera, which is nice. That'd be cool. And then I'll lock in the thing with this. Maybe I'll screw it underneath, like there, just so it fits. These are very important. I need these. On the Scotland trip, it was just constant. Um, just noise. All right, so these just apparently screw on like, like that. It's got a little hairdo. Yeah. That's about it. This is the upgraded rig. That's it, that's all I've done. It looks more than it is, it's really just a bit of metal. But it, it's very useful, so. And hopefully for the main channel we get some uh, high quality audio, finally, while we're outside. Because I, I don't really want to use my phone, it's just so fiddly and I always cover the camera lens with my, my hand. Anyway, well, I'm going to Devon in a few days and uh, we'll make some more stuff there. So we'll see how it goes. And uh, yeah, I haven't forgotten about this channel, I just can't bother to make any other things on it.